We searched for a man named Jim Sonnet. And the legends folks tell may be true. Most call him gunman and killer. He's my son, who I hardly knew. I raised Jim's boy from the cradle. Till the day he said to me, I have to go find my father. And I reckon that's how it should be. So we ride, Jim's boy and me. can't ride through that. The memory must be playing tricks on you. since you've been through here? Oh, about 37. Huh? I'm the only one who knows that shortcut. Found it when I was a boy. Used to come up here and hunt bear and bobcats. Huh? Wild country, huh? Takes a man to survive it. That wasn't no bobcat, was it? No variety I ever seen. Like you're not the only one that knows about this place after all. Hello, boy. Something wrong with him? Right into Deerfield, see if we can bring back a doctor. Nobody's riding any place. Who are you? How'd you find this place? Mother, 
Yes. Then you'd better put that rifle down. Give us a hand. She's pretty sick. Yeah. Too late to get a doctor. Fill this bucket with fresh water at the well. You step out that door, you're dead. Billy? Who's there? Billy? What's wrong with you, boy? Ain't nothing wrong with me. Now, you just answer my question. How'd you get here? We rode here. How else? Well? Well, sign it. Hello, Margaret. Well, is it really you? Yeah, it's me, sure enough. How did you get here? Yeah, you never mind that now. You just lie back. We're going to put you through this. We ain't here to hurt nobody, son. Now, you put that rifle away. I can't. It's all right, Billy. He's a friend. An old friend. I'll let Pa decide that when he gets home. Do as I say, Billy. You're sick, Ma. You ain't thinking straight. I'm just doing what Pa always said to do. Something like this ever come up. Just who is your Pa, anyways? Frank Stover. Frank Stover? Lots happened since we last saw each other, Will. You saying this is where the Stover gang hides out? Fourteen years, till you two come along. Well, you, you remembered our old hole in the rock. Yeah, my grandson and me was taking a shortcut to Deerfield. We heard my son James was there. You're not talking about Jim's son. Yes, Margaret. He's Jeff's pa. Jim's son? I take it you've heard the name before. He killed one of my pa's best men. fever in this cabin. Tick fever, they call it sometimes. It's caused by a little tiny bug. Now, maybe them two kids won't get it. We can catch up with them and feed them and wash them up. Then we gotta clean this cabin inside and out. I'll bring them back. I just suppose you go out to the well for that water now, boy. Come on. Do as he says, Billy. You hang on, Margaret. I'm going to put you through this. Johnny, you get back here. You got to take a bath. You come out of there. Now. You stay right here, here. Water boy. 
We might have to leave in a hurry. Let me ask you a question, Grandpa. He's had enough. How come we're uh, staying on here waiting for Stover to come back? Well, you ain't seen no sign of him, have you? No, but it seems foolish to wait around for trouble. I mean, we took a shortcut to Deerfield to track down a room where Paul. Now, we, we've done a service to these people. We ought to just ride on. Jeff, I don't know if I can explain this to you or even if I order. But when a fellow's been around as, as long as me, he collects a lot of memories. Some of them's bad, but some of them's good ones, too. Now, you've been collecting your own now all the way along. And I hope these more good than bad. That woman in there, she's one of my good ones. You understand, don't you? Yeah, I reckon I do, Grandpa. We'll stay on as long as we can. Sonnet's part, huh? He killed one of my men. Now, I guess your man didn't give much choice. That's right. He didn't. Frank, you gotta let him go. They saved my life. Probably the children's. Sonnet, I am grateful to you for what you've done for my family. You understand? I understand. Frank. Let us talk. You watch him. Billy, if they hadn't come along, I might have died. You can't repay kindness with killing. Be quiet, Ma. All these years, I kept telling myself it wouldn't happen. But it has. You are your father's son. Just everybody sit still and wait. Now, what they done for your family, Frank, that's your concern. Eight hours. You've got a good thing here for a long, long time. There ain't no reason to risk losing it for a couple of strangers. You got no choice. You feel this way, too? Frank, if you don't kill him, we will. It ain't right, but I'll bring him out here. I don't want the kids to know. Darn it. There comes a time in every man's life when he's got to do something goes against the grain. Jed and Charlie aren't about to let you leave here. Now, you know if it was up to me. It is up to you, Frank. No. No, Margaret. I got you to think about, and the little ones. They're safe here. Well, you understand what I'm talking about, Sonnet. I understand this. You put your family in this place, this kind of life, just because you had a rough time with that ranch of yours years ago. This is just another way of giving up and running when things get a little tough. There's been a lot of talking around here, I see. I only told him the truth. You can't stand here in it. You had no right, Margaret. It's our life. It's between you and me. 
What you are, what you've done, Frank, it isn't just between you and me anymore. There are two innocent lives involved. Why, Ma? Because you almost married him once. Is that true? Yes. Take the kids out back there, tell them a story or something. Mary, Johnny, come here. Billy, put the gun down. Ma, are you crazy? Put it down, Billy. She's not gonna pull the trigger, Billy. You just... Hold it. Hello there. Now, the first one of you that follows is dead. Here, keep him covered. Margaret, you don't know what you're doing. We gotta stick together, we're family. Mary, Johnny, get your coats on. Put some clothes in the flour sack. What makes you think I'm gonna let you get out of here with my children? I reckon that's something you're gonna have to figure out when we get outside. There's a buggy in the stable. Get our gun drop the bit there. Now move around back. When we come through that door, you make your move. We've got enough regrets already. That's why I'm leaving you, Frank. There's no change in Billy. No saving him. He's too much like you. Mary and Johnny are something else. They deserve a chance, and I'm going to see they get it. You better help the little ones, Margaret. Now you hold this rifle to my back. Take it! And you hold it high. Make one wrong move and I'll use this, you understand? I'm gonna kill you for this, Sonnet. Well, I'd pick another time to try it if I was you. You ready? Where are we going, Mommy? To a nice place, honey. Is some Paul coming? We're ready. Well, you wait till I make the move, then you come out. Now, if you're smart, you do like I told you. Where's the other one, Frank? Just be patient, I'll show him to you. Jeff! Trying to pull, Frank. This is empty. Stover, if you care about your little ones, you won't follow. You're gonna give them a long head start. Charlie. Even if I didn't have to leave, I would. Everything here is finished. I don't want to see any of it anymore. You can get ready to leave. We going after her, Paul? No. No, it's her choice. Maybe it's the right one. It's you and me from now on, son.
really loved it one time, didn't you, Grandpa? At one time. Love's like a deep sliver, boy. You can dig it out. Sometimes a bit of it stays under your skin. And it hurts a little. Thank you, Lord, for the life I've lived. Even at times that pain. If I had the chance to start again, I'd only ask for James. <laughs>